What's up guys, Rednez here and welcome back to my channel. Now, primarily being a Call of Duty YouTuber, as you can see by the plethora of Call of Duty videos that I've uploaded to my channel in the past, it goes without saying that I've more or less transitioned to being a Minecraft YouTuber at this point. But why is that? I've been streaming over at twitch.tv forward slash the red a uh, shameless plug if you guys want to go follow me over there. But I've been streaming over on Twitch a lot of Valorant, a lot of Minecraft recently. And frequently viewers who know me from my Call of Duty background ask me, Do you still play Call of Duty? And when I think about that question, it kind of hurts me a little bit, you know? Because in 2013, 2014, I would never think of being asked that question before. When I think back to that time, if I were ever to be asked that question, I would think obviously the answer is yes, why would you ever ask that? But as of right now, I don't know. Do I still play Call of Duty? Black Ops 4 is one of my most played Call of Duties, if you guys didn't know. I did make a ton of videos on that. I do have a ton of videos of that on my channel. If you guys haven't seen those, feel free to go watch them. But if you take a look at my time played on Black Ops 4, it absolutely trumps Modern Warfare 2019. But yeah, in all reality, I'm really not playing Call of Duty this year. I've only uploaded one Modern Warfare video to my channel, and it was from the Gunfight beta back in 2019. And I can tell you for a fact that since the day of recording that video, I have not enjoyed Modern Warfare. I don't really want to get into why I don't enjoy Modern Warfare, because that is a completely separate video. That video could be hours and hours long. I could talk about every little thing that I dislike about the game. And I really don't want to put you guys through that. But if you guys would like to see that, then I'm going to need to see some support on this video. Either throw it in the comments or hit the like button. If this video gets a substantial amount of likes, I will assume that you guys want to see my nitpicky ass video about Modern Warfare. Anyway, where was I? Ever since the beta, I've not enjoyed Modern Warfare, as you can probably tell by the lack of content that I've been producing on the game. Now, if you take a look back at my channel from 2018, 2019, when Black Ops 4 was out, you can see that I was uploading a ton of videos because I was actually having fun playing pubs in the game. And this year is just a different story. Modern Warfare public matches are atrocious. I don't know about you guys, but I can't even play the game for an hour at this point without being turned away from something. Even getting the mastery camo this year, the Damascus camo, it took me until August. It took me until August to get the mastery camo in Modern Warfare. To put that into perspective, when I was playing Black Ops 4, I got Dark Matter in nine days of the game being out. Nine days. And I know everybody in the comments is going to be saying, oh, but Black Ops 4's Dark Matter was a lot easier to get than Modern Warfare's Damascus camo. And I will agree with you there. That is a big difference. But also, I didn't play the game. I'll put a screenshot or a little clip up on the screen of how much time played I have on Modern Warfare versus how much time played I have on Black Ops 4. And you can see the clear difference in opinions of the game based on time played alone. Now, as much as I would love to sit here and bash on Modern Warfare, I kind of want to take this time to let you guys know where I'm at with Call of Duty as a franchise. We did recently get news of of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War going to be Call of Duty 2020. So that seems cool. I've seen a little clip of some quote unquote leaked gameplay on Twitter. I don't really know if that's true or not. I don't really know if that's real footage or if somebody took that from something or somewhere. I don't know. It was really bad quality. You could barely see anything. But what the guy posted with the clip were two little screenshots of two notepads of what they had written down of what the multiplayer was looking like. And from the reveal that we've gotten recently, it does look to line up with what the guy said. So it probably is actual game gameplay of the multiplayer that we've seen leaked on Twitter. Now the day of recording this, it is September 3rd, so we've got about a week or so until the multiplayer reveal actually comes out, but I cannot stress this enough to you guys. This COD better be fantastic, or I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to switch game. I'm going to have to become a full-time Minecraft YouTuber. I don't know what to tell you guys. What happens if Cold War is a bad Call of Duty as well? I've already not played Call of Duty this entire year. My whole channel is supposed to be centered around Call of Duty. If you guys are new here from the Minecraft content, I will still upload Minecraft content for you guys. But since you guys are new here, I should let you know that I am primarily a Call of Duty player. This Call of Duty just did not sit well with me. I have not been having fun on the game. I have not even attempted to make content on the game whatsoever the entire year. But yeah, Back to talking about Cold War. If the things that we've heard about Cold War are true, I've heard that the time to kill is in between Modern Warfare and Black Ops 4. The time to kill is slower than Modern Warfare, but it's a little bit faster than Black Ops 4, so there's a little happy medium in there. The health is apparently 150 again, just like Black Ops 4, but like I said, the time to kill is still a little bit faster than BO4. I've heard that they're bringing back Dead Silence as a perk and not as a stupid field upgrade or whatever the hell it is in Modern Warfare, which it should have been in the beginning. I don't know why they ever thought that it would be a good idea to bring it to a field upgrade and not a perk. They're fixing the mini map thank god that they're fixing the mini map that's probably one of the biggest changes that i'm happy to see coming from modern warfare to cold war if you guys didn't know modern warfare the gunshots don't pop up on the mini map it's a travesty that they did that i can't i still to this day can't believe that they ruined the mini map like that i honestly i every time i get on modern warfare and i try to play multiplayer 
I think to myself, these developers, they actually don't know what they're doing when it comes to making a Call of Duty that appeals to the audience. I'm sure there is a metric shit ton of new players coming to Modern Warfare that have never played Call of Duty before that are absolutely loving this game. But me as an OG Call of Duty YouTuber, you guys, you don't understand if you guys are not. You guys haven't been playing Call of Duty like I've been playing Call of Duty since I was like 10. This is not what Call of Duty is supposed to be. But I want to wrap it up in saying, guys, I'm praying to Lord Vonderhaar himself that this Call of Duty is a good Call of Duty. And if this Call of Duty is even slightly better than Modern Warfare, I will be uploading mass amounts of content for you guys. I am so ready to get back onto a Call of Duty that I enjoy, that I can grind, that I can make content just like Black Ops 4. If you guys have been here since the Black Ops 4 days, the content will be up to par with what you guys are expecting. And even better, I hope. My setup has been slowly upgrading over the time that I've been MIA from you guys. But uh, here we are. It's September. Multiplayer reveal in less than a week. We're in the home stretch. All I gotta say to you, Modern Warfare, you're the worst Call of Duty I've ever played. And I hope we never get a Call of Duty like you ever again. This has been Red Naz. If you guys liked the video, feel free to leave a like. Subscribe. I'll see you guys in Cold War.